This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, it's Alex and this is The Ramble and we go from now until midnight tonight. This is our only show this week uh, because uh, it's, uh, it's Thanksgiving and uh, you know, what the hell, why not? Let's take the, we're taking uh, Thursday off of course and then we're going to take Friday off because we have to go to the Black Friday uh, sales. Okay. All right. Okay. Anyway, uh, as you know, this is uh, this is uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, the first show of the week, and whenever we do that, uh, we uh, we go and check in with uh, this guy uh, right over here. Here he is. Oh, and uh, you know what I should do? I should uh, also put your name under you, so everybody knows that you are in fact let me see here where are we there we go all righty let me just uh, there we go okay there's phil meyer hello phil hey how you doing you know i'm i'm looking for equity you should have your name under your square too well it, i don't have room over there because i got the gab net under it so Put it above. turn up your mic a little bit will you oh, all right sure you know um I'm having a little bit of trouble. Uh, okay, uh, I'll just move it closer. I, you know, I think this uh, hundred dollar board what? is breaking down. It was a hundred dollar what? A hundred dollar board. I think it's uh, on its last legs. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, well, my audio is down too here. Uh, okay, now okay. I just set it up. So, People got um, it. you know. Uh, we're, we're not going to have a show the rest of the week, mm -hmm. and there's a racist holiday on Friday. Racist holiday? Yeah, Black Friday. Oh. Now, now yeah. if they can have Black Friday, why can't they have Jew Boy Monday? Mm. You know. Well, uh, anytime there's a sale, it's Jew Boy Monday. So, hey. thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Self-loathing Jew here pulling anti-Semitic <laughs> jokes. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, you want to talk about anything first, or you want to talk about Aubrey and the uh, th and the three good old boys that are? Uh, Do we have to? Well, you know, it's because, only... because I know what you're going to say, and uh, I I don't want to. Yeah. You know. Okay. What am I going to say? I don't know, but it's going to make everybody mad. Okay. Let me try this one. Yeah. If Aubrey had a gun, and I think his he name is able... Aubrey. Aubrey. Okay. And he was able to stave off uh, the attack by the oh, three. This people. is your judge. This is your. Everybody should have a gun theory, huh? Of course, yes. <laughs> but you know, look, look, look how it helped a uh, Rittenhouse. Uh, he was he was accosted, uh, and uh, and and uh, he, he wasn't accosted. Yeah, the guy pointed the gun at yeah. him. Another guy hit him over the head with a skateboard yeah, twice. because he had a, because he had a he had an AK forty seven or whatever that. Stupid gun. He, was. he oh. wasn't oh, being God. aggressive. You're, you're giving me a headache already. Okay. All right. Just look at the parallel here. Uh, Rittenhouse was able to defend himself. Apparently, and... Thanksgiving has no meaning for this guy over here. Oh, no, no, no. We'll talk turkey. <laughs> uh, gobble, gobble. So uh, he was able to defend himself, yeah. but uh, Albury, Albury, uh, he... Arbury. Arbury, he was unable to defend himself mm -hmm. because he didn't have a gun. And if he had a gun, mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> is that green? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. yeah. Well, Here we go. Watch this, folks. How you like that? Huh? Yeah. Well, what was the name of that show that the, the guy, the Invisible Man? The Invisible Man. Yeah. Right. This is kind of the Invisible Man here. Yeah. See? So, I bought this uh, on the street. I saw it. It was green. And I said, you know, I could have fun with that. But you know something? This isn't much fun. No. 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 Well, hey, that, that's what you get when you get the free guess. You know? Yeah. You don't get a lot of fun. Uh, let me just take this <laughs> off. This could also get me sweating and doing everything else, too. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, it highlighted your eyes. Yes, it did. Okay. That was my, that was my $8 joke on this show, okay? 
That's what it uh, cost the, me. The joke was you, you spent eight dollars on that. Yeah, right. <laughs> anyway, go back to what you were saying. All right. Well, you don't make it a lot of fun when I come up with this uh, this argument. Uh, but you know, the idea is, I, if if the kid, you know, a twenty five year old kid got murdered uh, in Georgia, and if he would have been able to at least protect himself, uh, he might not. Be, you know, if uh, some people decided they weren't going to take the law into what they considered their own hands and and uh, play out their racism, uh, well, you, this would have never happened too. Okay, you, you don't you don't take the law in your own hands when you have a right to carry. You know, when you have a right to possess and bear arms, that is the law. Well, then maybe it shouldn't be. Well, then, then there'd be uh, a lot more live people. Uh, I don't think so. It's not. It's not the good guys that. Oh, are, I heard, I've heard that. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's true. So, uh, okay, you you're not having fun. I want you I'm, to have fun. Well, it's the only show of the week. What do you want to talk about? What are you doing I tomorrow? Don't know. No, I'm, what are you I, doing I, for Turkey I, Day? I knew. I knew this was going to come up. You know. What? I, oh, I, I I I dreaded it. I I said. Maybe I shouldn't have had Phil on this week because I know what he's going to talk about. Yeah, of course. You know, you know like, for instance, I, I think the most tasteless thing of the week was yeah. Trump inviting Rittenhouse to, the, to, to Mar-a-Lago. I didn't know he did, but... Uh, you didn't I know that? You didn't hear that? No. Oh, he met with Rittenhouse at Mar-a-Lago. Well, that's good. I, you know, I think that was a, that was a good thing. Why you know? was it a good thing? Well, that is the Southern White House, and uh, you know he he really is the the real president. You, so, don't, you don't believe that, Phil. Yeah. You don't. Well, hey, you don't believe uh, that for a second. Well, look, you, what did Biden say? Uh, first, he said, "Well, I guess we'll abide by the 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 jury. That's the law." And then, for, seventy-two minutes later, he said, uh, "You know, it really makes me mad that uh, this guy got off." You know, uh, he's um, uh, at least Trump uh, didn't jump to conclusions like Biden did and say that the guy was a white supremacist, you know, and uh, right after. No, no, he he took he wanted to piss everybody off by inviting him to Mar-a-Lago and saying what a fine young man he was. That was his his uh, statement. What a fine young man he was. Well, I think he ought to have him on the apprentice. He's only doing that because he knows it pisses people off. No, I, I hey, I understand. <laughs> and then, then you've got Matt, Matt Gates has been asking. Uh, he has put a feeler out to Rittenhouse to be an intern. Rittenhouse is too uh, old for Matt Gates. <laughs> <laughs> No, but he did do something. He went across state lines and he was underage. So that appealed to Matt Gates. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, that's, by the it, way, uh, that's a joke. I thought he Richard liked Matt. girls. Hmm? I thought he, uh, Gates liked girls. I know, but Matt Gates has done it. But, I mean, they're doing this to, like, piss people off. You know, let's face it. No matter which way you want to cut it, the guy killed two people and injured one. Yeah, and, and he would okay, have Okay, so what are we doing? Celebrating murder? He would have been buried if... Uh, no, if I don't didn't. think so. Well, Not from I'm what glad, I saw. I'm glad you're a soothsayer. You can tell the future. No, you're, you're trying to tell the future and say that he would have gotten killed if he hadn't shot these people. Well, well, so don't say uh, I'm trying to predict the uh, future. Aubrey is dead, and he didn't shoot the people. Uh, Rittenhouse is alive, and he shot him. So, mm -hmm. you know, the, the facts speak for themselves. The facts speak for themselves. Yeah, Rittenhouse is alive. Mm -hmm. Aubrey is dead. Mm -hmm. all, all, uh, you know, uh, the actions by Rittenhouse were mm -hmm. those that saved his life, and that's what uh, self-defense is for. And mm -hmm. you know, we uh, tend to believe a jury. Mm -hmm. That's the that's the way it, that's the way it works. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Uh, if we're not going to believe the jury, then we should let the uh, good old boys go home. Well, I, you know, I, uh, I, I can't say that I totally believe in juries. You mm -hmm. know, I don't think they necessarily come out with the best uh, decision on something. Well, uh, I, I, and when I, and when you're I, saying when you're saying that it's all in uh, who can get the best jury, right, and and load it in the right way, and blah 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 blah. Then you got a question as to whether the jury system really works. 
Well, you, you, I, you, I guess you know. what they did was they convicted the good old boys and they freed Rittenhouse. So maybe the jury system does work. Well, maybe the maybe maybe the uh, the evidence was so overwhelming in the case of uh, of the Arbor case that uh, um, you know they couldn't come out any other way on it. I think that they you know they they portioned it out a bit. You know, the guy who took the photographs and stuff or the video on it mm -hmm. didn't get convicted on as many charges as the other people. I think yeah. the, the um, murder with malice is the worst of the of the of the charges. Yeah. So he are those guys going to get the chair? I don't think there's a death penalty in uh, Georgia, in Georgia. I don't believe so. I don't yeah, they, know. They tie you to a stake and they let fire eating ants crawl all over your well that's chest. what they should do to these guys you know but. Yeah, that, and their defense was uh, uh terrible you know we thought he was going to break into somebody's house and my truck no it wasn't a terrible defense they had no defense right yeah that's what i mean you know uh, they should have just said hey we made a mistake you know we thought that it was this and uh you know we made a mistake but they you know they they didn't if they, they had done that they probably, I don't know, they, I don't know how that would have come out if they had said, yeah, we did it, we made a mistake, you know? Yeah. But uh, as you can see, there was a little bit of a tussle and I lost my, my mind, I didn't know what I was doing and I accidentally yeah. shot the guy or something like that. But to, uh, to try and almost say it didn't happen. You yeah, know? They, we, they tried to weasel out of it with, you know, the, uh, with, a, with a racist excuse. Yeah, yeah. So do you think, uh, as we say in uh, Boston, that Rittenhouse is retarded? No, no, not not because based because on the because uh, uh, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, um, oh, God, I one of our callers, uh, Tony. Oh, oh. Said that, okay. said that he felt that you're, he was. You're putting up a good one. He felt he felt he was a, he was special. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, I guess it takes him to know him. Yeah. You know. Uh, you know, Tony's. Tony can tell. You know, I'm I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure Rittenhouse is not the sharpest tack in the box, but on the other hand, uh, his testimony. Uh, his interview with Tucker Carlson, uh, I thought that uh, you know he's got a he's got a place on Fox News. You know, oh, interview and Tucker Carlson are oxymorons. Well, uh, it's it's opinion, just like what I say is my opinion. Uh, you know, and even what you say is your opinion. Do you know uh, that I think Tucker Carlson gets better ratings than Sean Hannity? Well, he did buy the uh, the color videotape of the uh, of the assault. You know the drone footage. Uh, he actually bought it. Of the, of what, the drone footage of what? Yeah, yeah. He 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 bought it, and he and well, he bought what able, drone footage though? The the Rittenhouse uh, uh, the drone footage uh, uh, video mm -hmm. that showed uh, whether he was raising a gun or not, and, uh, and and a number of other things. How could he buy that? He uh, he bought it from the person that took it, and uh, he also provided the high quality um, uh, uh, color uh, rendition of it, whereas the uh, the uh, prosecution gave a grainy uh, black and white uh, uh, thing, and 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 T Tucker Carlson actually bought it. Uh, he bought that footage. Well, he buys a lot of things. Yeah, <laughs> right. He's not Getz. <laughs> uh, not Getz. Gates. I mean uh, Gates. Gantz. Whatever he was in Florida. Uh, what, what? Matt Gantz. You know. Matt Gates. Gates, Mike Gates, he buys a lot of things. Boy, you know. you know, everybody, you should be drinking your ass off tonight. Uh, I am, you know. Yeah, I yeah, let me let me have, uh, well, I have uh, coffee over here, and I have this lovely iced lemonade, which I love. Oh, that's from Costco, isn't it? Well, no, it was, it was at one point, but now I have to buy it from Amazon because Costco, you know what I hate about Costco is they, they'll have something I really like, and they have this ice 
and they had the lemonade pack. In other words, it was strawberry with le strawberry lemonade and something else lemonade, and sure, then just pure dozen, lemonade. Dozen, dozen things, different stuff. And two dozen of them, okay? Yeah. And I loved it. And all of a sudden, they stopped carrying it. You know? Well, what's that all about? You know? Well, uh, so I can buy the Kirkland shit? Well, I, I tell you, I don't know how Amazon does it. I bought a pair of shoes, uh, uh, Mephesto shoes. They're good shoes. They're $380. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're like boat shoes, but uh, that's what I wear. I have now three pair. And it, all exactly the same, and I just rotate through them. Yeah. And uh, so the shoes arrived today. Mm -hmm. I put them on, and it asked me online uh, what your size was, and my shoe size is an eight and a half, I think. And so uh, American, but they asked me the European size, and I looked in my shoe, and it, and it said eight, and I guess that wasn't the European size. That was the American size, or eight and a half, and I ordered the wrong size. Mm -hmm. So as soon as it came in, I tried them on, and I said, these are too small. They're, they They hurt. So I put them right back in the box. I went on Amazon. I pushed the little button and it says, I want to return it. They said, just, just bring it to Whole Foods, drop it off. You don't have to print a label. You don't have to do anything. Within four hours of dropping it off, you'll have your money back. And I ordered another pair of shoes in the size that I needed. Uh, you know, th that's an unbelievable customer service. Oh, yeah, but they've also gotten shitty on their customer service, too. Well, yeah. uh, it used to be that when you had something like that happen, okay, and uh, let's say let, let's say your package didn't arrive, yeah, and you called them, and they said, well, it says here the package was delivered, and you go, well, I didn't get it. They said, well, we'll send you another one. They don't do that anymore. Yeah. In fact, if you have a pretty hard time finding the phone number for yeah. Amazon. In fact, uh, well, uh, you know, I find that some companies are terrible at letting you even talk to a human being these days. That, that's very true. That's very true. That's why if you really want to have your customer service stand out, uh, you respond to those uh, to those calls as quickly as possible. Uh, I think one of the the uh, uh, companies that rates your gives you your credit rating is Experian, right? Yeah. And I got a thing the other day through my business manager from Bank of America saying we cannot uh, give you a experience. We cannot give you a Bank of America traveler's card uh, because uh, you don't have the proper credit. What? Well, I, I don't know. And then it says if you have any problems, get a hold of call Experian. Yeah. Oh, getting through to Experian is, is an, impossible. Is impossible. Yeah. They, they only want you to buy their credit report. No, they not only want you to buy their credit report, buy some credit cards while you're there. Oh, that I'm will increase. Well, what happened was I went on and I finally decided, okay, I'll do this thing where they boost you, okay? Yeah. So they asked for my bank. How much and, can they boost you? And you're I, an but, something, but, right? By the way, I called, I called yeah. uh, Bank of America and I said, they said my credit's no good. And uh, they look, the woman there looked at my bank statements and stuff and said, well, you could get any card we have. Yeah. You know, you know, you don't shouldn't have a problem. Apparently, somebody probably tried to use my name to try and get a credit card uh, and uh, whatever. But anyway, I tried to get a hold of Experian. And finally, while I was there, I just decided to boost my rating. So I put in my bank account so they could do that. And I put in my uh, uh, Con Ed and yeah. phone bill where I have those. And all of a sudden, it was boosted up to excellent. Well, you know. last time you looked at your... And, and uh, prior to that, by the way, I didn't have a rating, period. It was all zero, 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 zero. They didn't have a crazy. rating. Yeah. You, you, uh, I remember Rob told us about cr uh, Credit Karma. Yeah. And uh, you went on Credit Karma, and at the time you were like 807, 813. Yeah. Uh, and that's the Vantage score. Uh, I have a credit card that tells you what your FICO is. My FICO is 844. Uh, my Vantage, which is the Credit Karma one, and it's only two of the. Uh, well, my FICO, that's what uh, uh, Experian wanted, was the FICO. Yeah. And my FICO didn't exist. 
It was well, it was it, it hardly I, existed. So when I put in all these numbers and stuff to boost yeah. it, all of a sudden I'm up around eight forty, eight forty five, something like that. That that had to be. Uh, I'm I'm trying to get into the website that shows it. So uh, the that had to be an error. There there had to be a glitch. You know, there's another guy. Uh, uh, what what do they call uh, when you call yourself Alex Ben? Is that a nom de plume? Well, that, no, that's a that's a, a, a DBA doing business as it could be any one of a number. Of different There's things. a guy that's like an eighth degree black belt that calls himself Alex Bennett, mm -hmm. uh, and he's on YouTube. No, you know? I, I don't use that. Is not who I'm signed in as for. I, oh, for I know, yeah. but uh, let's see what the uh, no, so. no. But anyway, the point is that that uh, I tr you know in trying to get a hold of somebody at Experian to talk to somebody and say what's going on here. Yeah, so yeah. there, there's the 844. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm like, uh, I can't remember what I am. I'm something like on Equifax. I'm something like I'm much higher than that. I, I remembered. Yeah, you, you were, um, you know, in the in the mid eights. Yeah, but you see, here's part of the problem. I would probably go down from in one thing, one company, TransUnion. I'm a good, and the reason is, is that I don't really. Charge I, anything? I don't charge much. I mean, I have credit cards and I pay them off every month, but right. that's not good. No, they want you. They to pay. want you to leave. If you leave a balance, that will improve your credit score, and that makes no sense to me at all. How does well, it improve your credit I, credit score that you owe money? I got an email from uh, uh, Discover. Now mm -hmm. I have a Discover card, but I haven't. I used it once, mm -hmm. uh, just just once when I got it, and it was probably. Ten year, eight years ago, uh, so they just wrote me and they said that if I don't use the card before um, December twelfth mm -hmm. or something, yeah. uh, that they're going to close the account. Well, I don't like them. I fight for every point because if they close an account, that's going to drop my FICO three, four, five points because it'll drop my available credit, and uh, you know I don't want that to happen. So now I got to go out and charge a stick of gum on this goddamn Discover card, and which means I'm going to have to pay, uh, well, no, I won't have to get a stamp to pay for it, uh, to pay the bill. I can pay it online, but right. what a pain in the ass. You know, yeah. just, you gave me the card. I didn't use it. Just let me keep it in the safe, you know? Yeah, yeah. But, I, but you know, I just, uh, it, it, uh, I never heard of a FICO score before. That's the one Experian uses. The other yeah. two guys use something else. I don't they use know. Vantage. Vantage, something like that. Yeah. And I mean, come on. Uh, you know, I mean, I've, I've always hated these, these, these uh, credit reporting outfits because I got in a big fight with them years ago when I was in Houston, Texas doing a talk show. And I mm -hmm. went out after them. And you know what they did to me? They lowered your credit score. No, they didn't lower my credit score. They did away with my credit. Wow. They just completely, Alex, you know, Bennett Schwarzman, Alex Bennett does no, long, long, no longer exists. Sounds like the FBI. And it know? took me a couple of years to get credit back again by spending money and paying it off, you know. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, that's how horrible these people are. Yeah. You know, and, and, and who are they? You know, how are they to, you know, figure all this out? Of, I uh, have perfect, I'm the perfect guy to borrow money because right. I pay it back every cent. Right. I don't have any bills that are in, you know. That are overdue. Overdue. I don't have any liens against me. Nothing. Yeah. Zero. Zilch. Maybe they know you were a squatter. That could be. <laughs> you, know? you know, but I, I am now a senior. And I don't yeah. work, and I yeah. live on Social Security, and da 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 da, and uh, they, so consequently, you know, we're, you know, yeah. Well, I, I'm. I just went and got approved to uh, get a mortgage. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, there's a couple of houses I'm looking at, and uh, yeah, I really need to get out of this apartment. First of all, I'm getting killed tax wise mm -hmm. because uh, you know that's that was my biggest write off yeah. was my house. And uh, so uh, I, I got a loan, mm -hmm. uh, or I got approved for a loan. And uh, that, that's, they, 
the uh, credit bureaus yeah. would say, well, if you want your credit to be higher, and I do, you know, I mean, I can yeah. eke out. Go a out more. and owe money. Right. So th that's what they said, that if you had a, yeah. uh, if you had a mortgage or, uh, or, or, or a car loan or something, uh, your credit would be you higher. You would think if you didn't owe anybody anything and you only had one credit card, that that yeah. would make you stellar. Okay, yeah. that would make you perfect, but it doesn't. You have to prove that you can go into debt. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Hey, listen, let's uh, let's uh, bring some of these other people in. You want to stick around? Sure. You know, uh, as I don't know if Alan is waiting. No, but, he's, uh, no he, he's not. He failed uh, today at poop. Uh, he, at he, what? Uh, well, he went for a colonoscopy, mm -hmm. and uh, he, he didn't clean himself well enough. So oh, I had, uh, my doctor told me you did a really good job. Well, and I guess, I'm going, do I get a gold star? What? You know, I, you know, maybe we'll get him to call in. But I guess Alan is really full of shit because uh, you know, he couldn't get it out of there. He couldn't he couldn't do it right. Yeah. Yeah. OK, well, let me see here. Let me uh, let me just get rid of your name there and let me bring in all these other people. There are quite a few waiting to come on here. Uh, let's, uh, let's see what they were yeah, talking let's about see here. Oh, there's. There we go. Oh, we do. We do have Alan. Yeah. Uh, 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 he had a shitty day. Hello, Kevin. Hello, Alan. <laughs> hello, Mr. Neary. Hello, Mr. Wallace. And hello, Mr. Wheeler. <clears throat> uh, We're here to save the show. Yes, you're here to I, here to save the show. Thank you. Yeah, Phil's yeah. right. I had a shitty show. Not 100% shitty, though. I had a colonoscopy today. Yeah. And gallon of drink that they give you uh take half at six o'clock last night and half at five this morning and by the time i was done doing business in the bathroom it wasn't coming out clear like it was supposed to so i called and they said come on in maybe you know maybe we can suction out a little bit there was too much material in there and uh the doctor looked here, and here, said, well, here, there's no big... Okay, here's what you got to do. Forget that gallon of junk there. Tell your doctor... I told him that there was something else that you knew about. Yes, uh, uh, magnesium citrate. Okay. Magnesium citrate. It's a little bottle about this big. And you yeah. just drink a like bottle the night before and the day of, and that's it. And you can do it in one swig. <laughs> I actually put it in the refrigerator and get it good and cold. Yeah, and it just okay. goes right down. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'll look into that. I, a, little, a little vodka is pretty good too. Vodka is good too. You put, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is. It is. You know, it's not like the olden days where you fast for one day. Now you gotta, you know, cut out some of the pills that make you comfortable in life. The NSAIDs. You gotta change your whole pill well, regimen. Well, they don't. They don't want you to use. They don't want you to use uh, and and NSAIDs, NSAIDs or NSAIDs. NSAIDs I think, yeah. Whatever they yeah. are. They don't want okay. you to use those. They don't want you to use aspirin. They right. with, you can use Tylenol, right? Uh, but the reason is because those are blood thinners, and they're worried yes. that if you start bleeding, you will really start bleeding. So I, I so. take I take an NSAID every day for for my prostatitis. Yeah, this is, and this it is, works great. Yeah, this is really yeah. an audience getting discussion, by the way. Yeah, it's just uh, yeah. You know. it's very shitty as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. So I got to go back again. I'll probably do it after the COVID surge and uh, see how things go. Yeah, yeah. But uh, uh, why did you? When was it, when did you get your last colonoscopy? Ten years ago. By the way, did you hear our president had a colonoscopy the yeah. other day? Yeah. And, and he, yeah. Uh, yeah, he was under, and the written house uh, verdict came through, and they passed uh, one of his stimulus bills uh, while he was under. That's the only way they could do it. You know, uh, they said that, uh, uh, what's her name? Um, um, Kamala. Kamala Harris uh, uh, was uh, acting president at that uh, because he was on the... <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. That, o that always happens whenever a president goes in for a colonoscopy or whatever. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Um, uh, well, I wonder now that she was an acting president if she goes down well, as When a, Trump went in for a colonoscopy, they kept it a big secret. Yeah, yeah, they kept it a big secret. I think it was because he figured that if that he was having a colonoscopy, all the comedians would make jokes about it. Yeah, 
Well, he was afraid. And, that- and when he had the vaccine, when he had the vaccine shot and pushed everybody out of line to get first. Yeah, let me, uh, me, me, me first. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Oh, did he do that? I know he did that at a summit. Uh, he, yeah. he well, he pushed somebody the- out of the way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, and look what happened to her. Merkel is no longer the uh, chancellor of Germany. She decided not to run again. Merkel? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think she couldn't run again. I, I think that they time out. Do they time out or something? Yeah, yeah. She, she couldn't stand the either. thought that Trump would be in charge of America again. <laughs> well, uh, well, there's always hope. You know what? A, a Merkel, um, what, the, what her name means, it's a southern term for... Uh, God help me. <laughs> it was a miracle. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Little... You know, Phil brought up the uh, Carl Tucker Rittenhouse interview. And I actually the Carl that. Tucker? Uh, Tucker. Ca- Tucker, Tucker Carl. Carlson. Sorry. Yeah. I drink. Have... drink, 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 drink. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, I am, but, well, if you, if, that, if well, you, you guys, better, you guys better shape up tonight, you too, because they're going to think I'm doing the show for morons. You know, <laughs> you are, <laughs> you know, for, forget about Fox News's conservative stance. Forget about Tucker Carlson's an idiot. He actually interviewed the kid pretty good. The kid sounded credible. It's 17 minutes long. It's on YouTube. You know, I didn't follow the trial real well. And so I'm not going to defend him or what happened or what the jury did. I, I wasn't in the jury. I don't know. But but the Tucker Carlson, for once, Fox News put out something that the kid told his story. Tucker Carlson was just babysitting a little boy, so on stage, and it was actually not a bad interview. They didn't try and twist the kid's mind around to think the way they think, although it's already that way. Well, he is that way. Yes, the, the kid has been overwhelmed by Fox News and by conspiracy theories, and. He goes over a state line. Admittedly, it was only a 20-mile drive, but he goes over a state line in order to just go make trouble, go looking for trouble. He, he wanted to do. Um, he was there to help people. He said, "Oh, oh please, I don't, buy, I don't buy that, though, Phil." <laughs> well, you know, he. Uh, there are photos of him removing graffiti. Uh, there are uh, there are eyewitness accounts that he offered uh, to render medical help. Uh, or a, yeah, asked if uh, people needed it, uh, and that was prior. To, Why did he need a gun to do those kind of yeah, things? For the same reason that those other guys had guns uh, well, to protect themselves. Indeed. Plus, there, there was a there was a. a well, call. my my saying is, uh, you know, uh, if if the um, if uh, the uh, uh, well, what's the line about good guys have guns? Uh, what's that line? Uh, yeah. No, I know what you mean. Yeah, if, if, a but good if, guy with a gun is better than the bad guy with well, a gun. a good guy with a gun is a guy with a gun. That's the problem. I, I'm glad of that. Yeah. Uh, but, now, but, there, there were some car lots. One of them got burned down the night before. Yeah. And uh, I guess while Rittenhouse and his buddy were uh, in and about, uh, mm-hmm. someone asked if, if they would... Uh, watch the lot or try to you know keep play security damage well he wasn't being a security guard so much as just a presence uh and um, the rifle well phil phil in in deference to the other people here let's let some of the other people talk now okay can i ask uh did anybody hear that tucker carlson actually bought the drone videotape that was uh that was uh part of the evidence that was used at the trial did anybody hear that news because I heard no. it on Fox. But... No, I haven't heard it. But you know, mine's warped. There's a sucker born every minute. You know, yeah. I got some footage of you know, my yeah. wedding to my first Donald wife. Trump on his knees. Buy it. What? You got some footage of Donald Trump on yeah. his knees. Well, we know that that's taking it, care of Josh, taking care of Putin. Josh, Josh, what do you think about all the stuff that's been happening this week? The trials and the verdicts and so on. I mean, I. We talked about it a little bit last time I was on. I mean, I don't care much about the written house thing if they're going to argue about it in circles. I mean, he shouldn't have went where he did, and he shouldn't have done what he did. But he, you know, he went in, he does some stupid stuff, and well, I mean, y- y- not y- guilty. So I guess that's the end of that. I mean, 
Well, I mean, but I the fact is, the fact the is guy. that you got two dead people. You know that that's immutable. You know you can't you can't argue that. Here's somebody named yeah. Chip. Do we know anybody named Chip, folks? If you go against the, the, yeah. the guy yeah. who already is uh, Oh, there's through. Chip. Hi, Chip. No, it's Chip. How are you, Chip? I recognize you now. Hi, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, I mean, well, I you, just... You can take him to court. Hey, Jeff. Or... Jeff, turn your mic yeah. off if you're going to be talking off camera. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, you know, we, we, we give him a wide berth because he had a stroke. Okay? You know. Uh, uh, he's, he's given up the other guy's defense. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, um, anyway, um, let me see here. So we're, we're talking about the Rittenhouse thing. I, I just, you know... I just think the immutable fact is there are two dead people and a wounded person. And and that, you can't argue that, you know, and they were shot by Rittenhouse. Um, and he got away using the uh, I felt threatened excuse, you know, and I think uh, I, that's why, see, that's why nobody should have guns, right? You know, nobody. <laughs> Or at least if we said nobody can have guns, yeah, some people still would have guns, but there'd be a lot less of them around. That's driving Phil crazy. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I, I don't. I mean, other people wait, would talk. Wait, wait a minute, let, I don't. I don't know who walks around with a weapon like that, like with his hat on backwards, and yeah. he's all Mr. Cool, and then when he gets caught, he goes on trial, and, is, and he cries like a fucking little bitch. I mean, because <laughs> that's what he did. He fucking cried like a little yeah. bitch. I mean, really? You know, De Desmond Doss didn't need a gun to win the Congressional Medal of Honor during World War II, but this little fucking punk bitch walked around like a fucking cowboy for 20 minutes and damn near got his fucking ass beaten down and then he had to cry like a fucking bitch on the stand for his fucking mommy did he cry to the fucking fox news too you know i mean he's a fucking little punk i mean i can play just like the other side you know if some guy would have taken that gun out of his hand and fucking beat the fuck out of him with the butt of it you guys would want that guy in fucking prison. So what's the difference? I that mean, one guy tried to do that, and he shot you know, him. I mean, that's, you know what I'm saying? I he mean, hit him over the head with a skateboard. Uh, he, he shot him in the... Uh, one. He shot one guy who grabbed the rifle uh, stock, the, 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 uh, the front end of the rifle. So he grabbed it, and Rittenhouse shot him. I don't know if that was the guy that got shot in the arm or if that was one of the guys that got killed. But, uh... I think it was the guy And by the way, him. Phil, you know what nobody has mentioned? And, and uh, I, I, you know, I noticed it immediately. One of these guys was a Jew, so this is probably an anti-Semitic uh, crime. He could, he could have been a German, uh, you, know, uh, uh, you know, what do they call those guys? Goose-stepping, uh, you know, a Jew hater. You know, Boy, whatever. I wish I had a gun right now just so I could blow my brains out listening to you. <laughs> I'll loan you this one. Yeah, what were you going to say, Josh? You were you were getting into something mm -hmm. there. Oh, really? I mean, nothing really more. I mean, I I didn't watch any of that. I The only clips that I saw were just the various clips you would see on the news or, like, pictures that would be on the websites or whatever. And I mean, I, I that's what I saw, like... I mean, so I could be wrong because I didn't watch the trial or whatever. But, I mean, I, that's what I see. I see these pictures, you know, of him walking around. He's got his gun. He looks all cool and everything. And then as soon as something goes down, he cries. I mean, what kind of fucking man does? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'm just. Yeah, man up. Fairly, I think I'm the fairly experienced with man-to-man -man violence, and I'm just telling you. You know, <laughs> who the fuck cries like a fucking bitch the first fucking time you get? He's on life. trial for his life. You know, well, good reason to cry like a bitch. He wasn't on trial for his. He wasn't on trial for his life. He was. If he was convicted, he would have spent a lot his life in prison. Well, that's but that's not. He's not. When you say his life, you're acting like he's going to be executed. 
Now, I, I, does anybody know here? Is the, is there a death penalty in Georgia? Uh, he wasn't in Georgia. No, no, no. We're talking about Georgia. I'm talking about the Georgia situation. Uh, I don't know. Uh, oh my God! Well, something you don't know? No, I know uh, everything, but I'm just admitting to that for purposes of. Uh, no, there's a difference between what he knows and what he thinks he knows. Yeah. And most of the time, it's what he thinks he knows. Well, the, what happened in Georgia to me is murder. Do you do you know do you it know was. Charlie is is there a death penalty in Georgia? Are these I'm guys, googling it right now. Are these guys up for the death penalty? I don't think so. Nobody's been, nobody's what even been mentioned doing all that week. Alex, you should have looked that up before you go. Uh, no. I would even if there is, I don't think they could. I mean, the only thing that, that would probably carry the death penalty even in Georgia would be like first degree murder and i don't even think they were charged with that and first degree murder would have to come with other certain well they were charged with murder charges that could get them life i do know yeah, that correct Lethal. but i mean you know like first degree murder wouldn't come from, i mean i can't pass you down the street and having never met you before and then we have some sort of altercation and i yeah. kill you and it'd be murder in the first degree well, knowing I mean, georgia no i would find it uh, I, I would find it unbelievable you they, know. they re, uh, two things one is these the three good old boys followed him for uh, a, a real uh, long length of time before they caught up with him and shot him but it says here right. georgia's death penalty has evolved over the years and now uses lethal injection yeah uh, it has a death death penalty. execution State has the fourth highest in the U.S. for carrying out executions. Oh, really? Yeah. Behind Texas, we're yeah. number one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, they've had they've carried out seven. They've killed uh, seventy-seven people since nineteen seventy-six. So we do that last. Either that or three guys in a pickup truck. You could do it that way too. <laughs> yeah. What? But I I don't think these guys are up for the death penalty. Uh, well, we don't know. Uh, two of federal them federal murder. Two of them. Uh, I I know that they were convicted of murder. I don't. One the the one guy was federal murder. He was he's the one that got the full murder charge, and the other two did not. Is that the guy that pulled the the, the, the redhead? The, the guy who shot the gun. The son. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Right. That's okay. probably because he had a mag I had on. He had all the training. <laughs> By the way, I, I don't know. Do do you people see what I see? Did you see this video that's running around about this football player beat his girlfriend up? I, I haven't sure. seen it. Uh, yeah. 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 Have you I, seen it? Yeah. Did you notice what I noticed? That to me, I mentioned this the other night, was uh, the, it was the part that got me worst of all. Was there was a cat involved in it? Did you really? see the cat? As, as she's thrown this woman across against the television set, this cat comes flying out and then really? goes along the couch and then flies off the couch and out the out the door. Yeah. Well, get out of there. They videotaped yeah. the attack? Hmm? They videotaped the attack? Yeah. She yeah. what happened was he had beaten her up many times before. And she wanted to catch him in the act. Ah. So she had put in cameras in the apartment. You think that she set him up and and tried to? Uh, 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 let's say let's, to there's him. nothing you could say to set somebody up to how he threw her across the room several times. Well, yeah. maybe she. Well, Phil, look Phil, at the, look there at is the no defense for what he said did. You're a stinking lousy football player. You still don't oh. do what he did to her. <laughs> oh, look, <laughs> Phil. Yeah, uh, look at that video before you start. Yeah, that, that's that's right. what happened, Phil. He gave her a good reason to do it. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. Gave her <laughs> a way, gave him a Not her fault. Yeah, yeah so uh, this guy, the football player, what did he do? Smacked her. But the guy in Wisconsin uh, the other day, what, he mowed down and killed six. And uh, there's 40-some-odd people injured. Uh, yeah. And he was let out of jail for doing the same thing to his girlfriend. He ran her over. Right. Uh, and, uh, you know, they gave him a thousand dollar bail. And uh, now they finally raised it to what? Uh, Five million. Yeah. Probably yeah. something like that. But uh, that's what's happening with these progressive DA. Well, they'll do a GoFundMe. GoFund Probably thing. thought they were looters or something. So he <laughs> fucking ran their ass over so they <laughs> couldn't fucking rob the big lots of Donald, dollar Donald Trump oh, news today. Hey, yeah. hey, yeah. 
he he wanted to get through the parade, and they were holding him up. He had places to go and people to see. People to run yeah. down. Yeah. They could Chip have all the toilet paper. Now that that down. that is a classic case of premeditated murder. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, Chip, that's, Chip, that's an it, angry guy. Chip, any wonder, th- any thoughts on what we've been saying? I would want to drag you kicking and screaming into this. Uh, I've just been watching the Rittenhouse thing. Not necessarily the. I didn't even remember the uh, the three guys in the truck part. Yeah, until well, that's a different guy, different guy. Yeah, yeah. no, right. But yeah. I had forgotten all about that till today when they, uh, you know, right, right. Mm-hmm. right. Well, I think the written of, of the two cases, the written house had the more drama to it, I guess. You know, uh, yeah. and and so it it got the biggest portion of. But once the other trial started, they were covering that too. Yeah, um, but like Chip saying, the the Mott Aubrey was like two years ago. Yeah, yeah. it was yeah. a while ago. The so cops yeah. weren't even going to charge these guys with anything. Oh. Oh, the guy was filming, right? Yeah, oh and the mother, God. the mother kept pursuing it and pursuing it and pursuing it until finally they charged these guys. But it, initially, am I right, Charlie? They weren't going to charge these guys. Oh, they were. It's unfortunate that it took the mother to get them to prosecute these people. Yeah. And thank God for the stupid idiot who filmed them doing it, because if not for that video... There'd be no case. But the guy who filmed them, was he one of the guys? Yeah, that, he one was of on the trial. Yeah. Little boys? Yeah, yeah but he, I thought he was a proud boy. Because, no. because, because you are an accessory to the act if it's going on and you don't do anything. Well, when people are on a subway train, for instance, and they see someone get attacked and they film it instead mm-hmm. of trying and to break it. And by the way, they were brought, he was brought into it by these guys who said, come on, we've got a guy, why don't you videotape it, blah, blah, blah. So he became part of the of the conspiracy or whatever you want to call it. It's yeah. like the guy that drives the car when they knock off a liquor store. He's just as culpable as the guys who pulled the trigger. Yeah, yeah. So... Anyway, you know, that that's the biggest news this week. And, of course, all the news outfits were living it up, telling the story. And then our president, our former president, Donald Trump, invites, uh, invites Rittenhouse to Mar-a-Lago, where he then goes on, I think, Tucker Carlson or some show, saying yes. what a fine young man he was, you know, and that uh, we're so happy for him. <laughs> the guy's a murderer. I don't I care what believe- you say. I mean, maybe he had extenuating circumstances, but he killed two people. He's not guilty by reason. It's of not self- a question of guilty or not guilty. It's it's immutable that he killed two people. Yeah. In in defense of no, his own. Life. No, you're adding that, but he killed two people. Well, and what you're sure doing you're- is you're is you're patting on the back somebody mm-hmm. for killing two I, people I, I think what he did was he called the herd you know uh, th- those guys, everybody you can laugh now that was very no, funny hey, you know those it's a guys joke. It's a joke. Time for another guys. drink one of them's a drink. child molester the other one's a wife beater there we go again this circle just keeps going Bill, yeah, I'm on yeah, my third yeah. we already drink, said bro. we already said that they he didn't know that when he came up to those guys. Oh, he no, didn't. Yeah, no, but I didn't have he to didn't. say, oh, you're a child to be or sex or whatever. They were wearing a sign on my the forehead. I'm he a child. Did, uh, Charlie, he did the world a favor. I'll make a movie reference. He was they were wearing an M on their back. You know. yeah. Style M for murder? No. M. M? Yeah. M. Silent film. Oh. Peter Laurie's first film. Oh. M. M. It wasn't his first film, but it was a, the film he got famous for, as a child molester. And because he was a child molester, they put the M on his. On He's his related back. to Matt Gates, isn't he? Yeah, something like that. Was he the hunchback of Notre Dame also? No, that was Lon Chaney. Boy, oh, Phil. All right. I, I asked the question. You know, he's he's getting forgetful, Alex. It's okay. It's uh, it's all right. I know the feeling though. So yeah, yeah. it's getting worse. It's not it's not written down. I'm in front of. Yeah, we got you know. Yeah, um, my wife is getting somewhat forgetful about stuff too. Yeah, so. it happens when you turn sixty. Yeah, it must be nice of you to be dating, married to a, a woman that's twenty-two years younger than you. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. 
Is 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 his girlfriend twenty two years younger than he is? No, you you were talking. I was I said, welcome to your sixties, and you said your wife is getting forgetful too. And I said she's sixty, and we know you're eighty one or eighty two. And I said, forget it. She's not sixty. <laughs> I, we, okay, I, you know, I, 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 was just I mean, admittedly, nice. she's the oldest woman I've ever gone out with. Oh, in age, oh, wow. in, a, in Alan, a, Alan's full of shit and he can't count either. <laughs> yeah. oh, at, at least I know what text came to me on what day, Bill. Yeah, well, <laughs> so anyway, uh, uh, what, delegate that. what's new in the life of, uh, of uh, Brian Neary? Uh, we are putting all the equipment in our new building, our new fancy building to start mm -hmm. saving lives pretty soon. So, uh, I think January we're going to be up and running tests for COVID. So it's good. Yes, yeah. we can. So yeah, really happy, really happy. This one, I've learned a lot this last year from the first building. So this is really exciting for me. So, oh, so how many buildings do you have now? Well, I'm in charge of China, India. There's one building each, uh, just small stuff right now there. And then uh, Newark has two buildings, and I just that's up off to another group. And so I'm just focused on So this on company that. must be making money hand over fist. We have blank checks from our parent company right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? So you got free advertising from Trump in the Rose Garden, remember? Yeah, when he couldn't pronounce our name. Nobody can yeah. pronounce your name. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. on. It's on my cap. <clears throat> yeah, I have another one. I gotta send that to you. Yeah. Cephid. Yeah. yeah. It's. It, it, is it Cephid or Cephid? Cephid. Cephid. Yeah. Yeah. Cephid. Yeah. 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 I know. It's so hard to pronounce. I'm, I'm wearing a cap too because see, I got a rash here. See my rash on my forehead. It's terrible. Ageous? Huh? Are you contagious? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. And Charlie, how's everything down in Texas? Deep in the oh, heart of it. pretty good so far. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like I said, I got my booster shot about a week and a half ago, so I'm good. Yeah. I, 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 finally, they put my booster shot on my, uh, on my Excelsior pass on my phone. So I have that all set up now. Uh, but it's about time for me to get the fourth one with <laughs> And they say it's okay. Bring it on. I'm ready. Yeah. Isn't Excelsior the, the logo of New York State? Yeah. Yeah. And they have a thing called the Excelsior Pass. I see. Which is a, uh, here, I'll show it to you. See? Okay. That's, that's it. This is one of them. This is, uh, this is just, uh, that just has the, uh, has the, what do you call it? QR code there. QR code. Okay. Yeah. And then, then we have this other thing called the Excelsior Pass Plus. And if you look there at the bottom, uh, let's see, it says three. Right. See, I've had three of them. Okay. okay. Uh, California, where I am very low tech, this is, this is my card. Mm -hmm. And that's a, that's a picture of the card. And so really? that's what wow. I use. Yeah. That's what I use to be able to. Well, we have we have one for New York City that you take the picture of your card, yeah, and you put it on there, and you take a picture of your driver's license, yeah, so you can the, show your driver's license. The next screen. Phil, yeah. California has has the uh, the uh, QR code too. Yeah, and then you can you can sign up for Clear, and Clear will give you a a, a section for your vaccination information too. And it gets you into venues. So each time you go to a venue, it'll give you an updated pass to get into a venue. Is that the clear that you use on airlines? Yes, it's part of it. It's a section of it. Oh. Hmm. And yeah. then they have a whole list of venues like SAP Center or, oh, you know, all these places in San Francisco. And each time, each day you go to a venue, you just go in there. It takes a picture of yourself to verify it's you. And then it gives you a 24-hour pass. And you show it at the door, and then you get in. Wow. That's so, interesting. Yeah. It's getting nice. Where, yeah. where, where are you again, Chip? Uh, North Idaho. North Idaho. Uh, do you have anything like that there? Do you have anything like these little cars? No, not at all. Matter of fact, uh, they're having trouble rolling out the uh, booster shot up here. Not every place has it yet, and they're still going by ages and 
Well, how do you, how do, the, how do you, how do you, can you be bad at rolling out the booster shots if you've got the other shots there? Because it's a red state. It's not, we, oh, uh, wait, 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 hold on a second, hold on a second, ready. Phil. I'm talking to Chip. I asked him a question. Wait, 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 go ahead. Anyway, Chip, what were you saying? Uh, when we first got the vaccine up here, it was probably two to three months after many of you guys had already gotten the first wow. one. Wow. Yeah. So, but I mean, the the thing is, that the third shot is really no different than the first shot. Although, if you have the Moderna, it's half the dose of the. Uh, although I had a full dose of Moderna for my second, for my third shot. You 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 too. Yeah, mine was a Pfizer. But yeah. but all they have to do is just you know they got the Pfizer's there, right? There's enough of it to go around now. It's not like. Uh, you know, I mean, you have to wait three weeks for a shot because there isn't enough. Uh, uh, well, for instance, I got I got I got mine at Walgreens yeah. and Walgreens doesn't have it right now, but I can go over the next city over and get it from uh, Rite Aid. Oh, now, right. Chip, uh, was there a big outbreak in of covid uh, cases in Idaho? Per capita, we were probably number two in the nation. By the amount of people that are here, and there are only three people in Idaho, Chip and two oh, others. True. No, that's Montana. That's next door. Yeah. <laughs> Alan wants to say something. Yes, Alan. God damn, you really changed your looks, Alex. It's just Phil Meyer now. So yeah, I'm just teasing. So um, uh, you know, a, a lot of the a lot of the reason why they're allowing people to interchange vaccines is because in rural United States. Uh, you know, there may be only one or two pharmacies and they may only have Pfizer or Moderna. Yeah. And so they looked into this saying, yeah, you can take either one. We prefer you to take the one you had to start with, with the, the two shot series. But, you know, it, it's better to get boosted by Moderna if you had Pfizer, if that's all that's available. Yeah. Uh, and Josh, that's why the CDC did that. Josh, you had a problem at your at your company. Where you had a couple of cases, right, of COVID? Yeah, we we go through spurts here and there. Yeah. Did they shut the line down? No, they would never do that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like our company. Yeah, we we get we get emails like every couple of days that somebody has it, and they said, "But you weren't affected." Even the schools, the schools, we keep getting them too, saying that your child, there is somebody, a staff member or student at your child at your child's school. Now, how I old is Adrian now? Adrian is six. Six, just turned six. Is she yeah. is she able to get a shot? Uh, yeah, she is now. So uh, tomorrow, I'm looking online to get her. I wanted to wait, make sure uh, everything's okay for us. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, uh, but I would get it for her. Cause... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm mean, yeah. She's definitely going to get it. And away. and if she has any fear about it, tell her it doesn't hurt. It really, it's a. It, oh. how, how many here when you got your COVID shot? Did it hurt at all? I cl I cried like Rittenhouse. Oh, okay, <laughs> but I mean, uh, I didn't even know. He, I didn't know even know they had done it. You know. Oh yeah. No, she, she's had shots. She's had shots for going to Vietnam when we went to Vietnam, so she's she's okay. I had to ask him if it was a placebo because I didn't feel anything. Yeah, no, it was really it, it, both times. It afterwards, your arm kind of hurts a little bit and maybe you feel a little punky for a day or so but otherwise it's 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 a it's a no-brainer I, I i the flu shot the yearly flu shot is more painful i went and got yeah. my flu shot and i went wow now that you know that hurts you know so. yeah, our company <clears throat> our company has gone strict now on the vaccine and they're they have a due date i don't even know what the date is but they had us go online and and download all our stuff and they're saying that if they don't have vaccines without it, with a certain date, then they're going to start letting people go. Good. Yeah. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. so I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I hope more companies do that. I'm all for that. I think the country ought to declare a national health law and force everybody to get the vaccine. Yeah, that's the American way. Well, no, I, I don't see where forcing people to get a vaccine in a time of great uh, national tragedy really right. uh and and danger uh, it's it's to me acceptable it's also you know, it they should they should say that it's the american thing to do do it for your neighbors do it for your friends and do it for your family but don't do it because we're going to hit you over the head if you don't do it and we're going to punish you well i think we should shame people 
well, for not doing it. That's you the know? problem. You know, it's uh, America will step up to the plate when, when asked. No, but they haven't. Well, they, they haven't, haven't because they, there's a draconian system out there trying to hit them over the head. So if they get it and die, they're that stupid. That's their problem. Yeah. Listen, I saw an interview on TV the other day with somebody in another country where they were having an uptick, and, and the doctor was saying, uh, yeah, we have people in here, and they're dying every day. About 80% of them who go on ventilators uh, die. Yeah. He said, and every one of them wasn't vaccinated. Mm -hmm. A lot of people that go on ventilators prior to the vaccinations were dying too. But uh, yeah, but it, 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 the fact is, if you don't, if yeah. you're not vaccinated, your chances of dying are about twelve times what they are if you if you oh, are vaccinated. Like people don't wear helmets on their motorcycle. I mean, uh, but there's a law that you have to wear mo helmets on your and motorcycle. Not in, not in every state. How dare you tell not me not what I can do? I don't have not in Idaho. Idaho. In, you know, in Ohio, in Hawaii, you don't have to wear a helmet uh, when you ride a motorcycle. But I mean, the I, fact I, is, the people—it's the same people to me. The people that choose not to get a vaccine are the same people that choose not to wear a helmet, and they're the same people that would vote for Trump. You don't wear a helmet. I don't have a motorcycle. <laughs> well, Trump acts like he never wore a helmet. Yeah, you know, he's not <laughs> good. Not just perfect. His hair protect him. Yeah. That's right. I mean, it, it's just, it, it's just, it, this is the time of a national emergency. Uh, and everybody should say, I'm rolling up my sleeve and I'm getting a shot. I, I'm, I'm not oh. exactly sure that it's the right thing to do, but it's the right thing to do for my community. Well, let, let me tell you what people think on my side of the uh, aisle. Uh, they think that Big Pharma is being paid off by these $40 shots for, for every American, 330 million shots maybe, or double that if there's two shots. And uh, that money, part of that money then gets funneled back to the DNC and Democratic candidates. Oh, God. That's, that's so stupid. Who, who came up with that half-assed theory? No, no. It, Look, I agree with you. Big Pharma is making, uh, has had a windfall out of this. Right. And, and but, who does but, Big Pharma support? And, oh, they'll support. They uh, believe me. Most of these big companies spread mm -hmm. the money around to they hedge 80 their. percent to Republicans. Trump wanted Big Pharma. Wait a minute. What did you say, Charlie? Charlie, what did you say? Big Pharma gives eighty percent of their donations to Republicans. They don't give the. Where did you get that from? I got it from Google. Go Google it. All right. Yeah. I'll ask Tony. He'll know. Yeah. It's spelled G O O. <laughs> Won't ask you. <laughs> Although you know you're trying, you're spelling it for him. But there was a time where if you said Google, somebody would say, "How do you spell that?" Yeah. You know. I I actually owned stock early on in Yahoo, and my broker had never heard of Yahoo. But by the time I sold it, bought it at thirty, sold it at three hundred, everybody had heard of it. But you, you are a Yahoo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a rich Yahoo. How many shares did you have? I bought 500 shares. And you got <laughs> sold it back at 300? Yeah, well, I should have waited because it went up even higher. Yeah, it probably was a lot more. Listen, yeah. it went down also for a while. It was really in the dumper. And who bought, bought it? Time Magazine or... Uh, 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 Are you talking about Yahoo or Trump right now? Yahoo. Uh, yeah, Yahoo was like really in the dumper. Uh, when I was at Sirius, they yeah. got into bad shape at one point where they were almost going to go out of business. The stock went down to five cents. <laughs> and I was thinking about buying it at five cents. But, you know, who knows? If I bought it, the company would have gone out of business. But one thing led to another. And that five cents is now not big, but six dollars. But if I had bought, say, ten thousand dollars worth back then uh, at five cents, how much money would I have now? I may have several 20 million. Times, I have, uh, twenty yeah. times is a dollar, so uh, twenty times six is uh, one hundred and twenty dollars on uh, on a nickel. Twenty thousand dollars, what you have? What? So if you had bought 
If you had bought uh, uh, $10,000 worth, it'd be worth over $100,000 now. Oh, no, no, much more than that. 120 times, 120 times more than uh, than he paid. Uh, well, no. The, oh, you're right. It'd be a, uh, a nickel is, is 120. Okay, of let me put it this way. If I had bought that and uh, it went up to a dollar, I would have had... Uh, about a hundred and twenty hundred no two hundred thousand dollars yeah two hundred thousand dollars yeah. well, and it went up to six dollars I would have had about a million and a half dollars, dollars yeah. right yeah. now over a million yeah so I, I, I've had pretty good luck with some of the tech stocks I bought Microsoft when it was fairly new mm -hmm. um, and it's worth a lot more than I I, I I did a job for Microsoft back in the early days of Microsoft they they had some damage. Oh. They had a, a, a building on Sand Hill Road in uh, Palo Alto. And mm -hmm. uh, they, I charged them, th it was like 1987 or 88. I charged them $300 to fix a scratch from their Christmas tree on their hardwood floor. The guy said to me, do you want the money or do you want us to pay you in stock? I mm -hmm. said, I'll take the cash. Can you imagine if I took that 300 in 1987 uh, of my, uh, Microsoft stock at, at that time? Time. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, it'd probably be worth two fifty. No, uh, no. If he, if he, if he had gone for that deal, Microsoft would have gone out of business. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but if he had all that money, we would never have gotten to know Phil. Yeah. Well, if uh, you know, what, what's the golden rule? Uh, everything I touch turns to shit. It's the golden rule in yeah. reverse. Well, anyway, what happened was, is when this, when it was at five dollars. Uh, um, my boss went out and uh, convinced somebody to buy into the company, buy 40% of the company, and it saved the company. And that happened over a weekend. And I saw him on Monday morning in the break room, and I said, how close did we come? He said, you have no idea. Mm -hmm. You remember when Apple was in the dumper and uh, uh, what's his name? Microsoft, uh, uh, Gates. The guy from Microsoft uh, G Bill Gates bought a significant no, amount. No, he didn't. Apple. No, he didn't. No, no he bought Apple no, stock. No, what he did yeah. is he invested in Apple's future by yeah. porting all his Word products and so on over to um, uh, over to Apple, and that helped save Apple, believe it or not. Yeah, you know, but I don't think he put any money in there. Maybe no, he I, did. I thought he, I thought he bought a lot of stock. Uh, and they were they were like almost they were this close to going out of business. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, and that was in the early days. That wasn't later on when they were close to going out of business. But uh, you know, Jobs uh, managed to go in there and do some kind of hat trick, and uh, the company survived. Well, and, he uh, had a vision for the company. Who was that? I don't know, but he had a vision for the company, and you know the the guy from Pepsi Cola was it uh, who who had taken over after they got they ousted Jobs. Pepsi Cola. Uh, now somebody can burp. Go ahead. Oh, that was me. I thought I was on mute. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Who is, the, who is the guy that that took over um, uh, Apple? Uh, Scully. Scully. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I, I thought he worked for. I thought he was the guy who landed the plane. Uh, the uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what happened was is uh, uh, at one point uh, Apple. I I was putting down Apple on the air in San Francisco, and they got a hold of me, and they said we want to send you an Apple computer. Okay, and I said okay it, to use, yeah. and then when you're through with it, you can send it back, right? They sent me this Apple computer, and this was during the Scully times. This was the worst piece of crap I have ever had in my life. I opened it up because I, I wanted to see what the internals were like. And they were actually using tin foil in it as a, uh, uh, what do you call it, as an insulator. Hmm. Tin foil. I mean, it was the worst piece of crap I've ever used in my life. And finally, I called them back, and I say, they said, well, what do you think of it? And I said, to tell you the truth, this is the worst piece of crap computer I've ever used. And they said, well, then, okay, keep it. 
Oh. So I kept it, but I never used it because the goddamn thing was so slow and so sluggish and so badly built. You know, they sure changed that, didn't they? Uh, here, uh, yeah, it's, I got a did. thing here. This is uh, I don't know what news service this is, but it says uh, Bill Gates actually bought 150 million in oh, Apple really? stock in okay. August of 1997, a purchase that probably saved the Cupertino company from bankruptcy. Yeah, but was that? I don't think that was at the time that uh, Jobs was back there yet. Uh, I'm not sure. No, it wasn't because it, didn't they uh, didn't they have a sort of a feud going on uh, uh, between Bill Gates and Steve Jobs? Well, no, yeah. but no, no, no. Jobs brought uh, Jobs brought Gates onto one of his early, uh, you know, pep talks oh, that he was given. One of his one of his uh, selling the new products and stuff, and then said. And now here's something you'll never see. Here's Bill Gates to tell you about what Microsoft is doing. And what they were doing is they were doing, they were making uh, the uh, the suite of, of uh, Microsoft products, office products, yeah. available to the, uh, to the, to the, it to was, Apple. It was a smart move. Did you see the latest Apple release of the iPhone and stuff? They brought all kinds of tech people up that had something to do with it with different companies on stage very nice apple did yeah yeah the new phone can't be that much better that i got to spend thirteen hundred dollars i like my iphone 10 there's no reason to 10 to, i'm up to the 13. yeah yeah, yeah i have an 11. i mean what's up and and now? i gotta tell you if you like photography this is the phone for you yes i, I still got a six i sold <laughs> my i sold my d850 today my nikon d850 uh, uh i told i bought uh i'm on the waiting list for the z9 from nikon which is their new mirrorless <laughs> flagship but camera. you don't need that you got this well, <laughs> i gotta tell you this is amazing i went out and uh, i went out and shot the, the 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 rocket last night with my my wife's yeah. 12. Yeah. yeah 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 when it shot up out of vandenberg i mm -hmm. could see it from here the 13 so shot at it with a shotgun the 13 no, the 13 phone. has depth of field the third and when you're doing video oh, your i mean it has a cinematic mode they call it yeah that my 10 didn't have that the 12 had had some kind of night vision yeah. whatever yeah. but i mean i as uh, for photographs i took a photo to photograph at night out the window the other night and the way it shot it was just absolutely a, inspiring you're, waste, last, you're wasting your money it's my last one two bodies. Uh, this one I'm uh, this one I'm keeping, and this one I'm selling. This one is I use in an underwater enclosure. I bet you're going to have a hard time selling it. Uh, nah, this is the D4. This was the flagship camera. It was $6,500 new. Uh, I, I I'll get a thousand bucks for it. Yeah, so, but what I'm saying is, this has pretty much ended the need for those kind of cameras, except yep. for. Real professionals are doing like fashion modeling and things like that, studio work. Yeah. But for just shooting stuff, I mean, I'm taking pictures on this thing that I just, they're breathtaking. They're just breathtaking. Yeah, I, I have more control uh, with that. You and, have a lot uh, of control over this now. And then the lenses. And you know, here you also have control, believe it or not, Phil, after the fact. You can just shoot it without anything. You put this on your on your phone? No. <laughs> I think he's compensating for something. But I can use it. But I could use it between your legs. But, but I don't want to brag. I could use it as a condom. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> they've been they've been doing some uh, some crazy uh, smash and runs. They did one in the creek, right? Uh, yeah, Phil? yeah. I, they, I, they had like twenty or thirty people going in, like Louis Vuitton in San Francisco. And just uh, rushing and grabbing stuff and taking off. Palo Alto was like did, 50 or something. What yeah. they did was there was, I think they said there was 80 cars. They blocked the street, Broadway Plaza. Mm -hmm. Then they went in. Uh, they they smashed cases. They took two hundred thousand dollars or and damage, uh, two hundred thousand in damage and merchandise. Mm -hmm. uh, and the cops actually caught three of them. One of them was a felon with a gun. Uh, and. <laughs> So, like 3.30 in the afternoon, too. Yeah, yeah. really. 
Yeah. All those three yeah. children having to win. And what were they? Was it Nordstrom's? What was it? Nordstrom's. Nordstrom's yeah. Louis Vuitton in San Francisco there on the corner. Mm -hmm. And Nordstrom's in Walnut Creek. Yeah. And there was another one. Uh, and the they place all happened Real with, Real in Palo Alto. But they also happened within a short time of each other, right? Yeah, yeah. same day. Yeah. This had to be coordinated between, you know, you got 80 people that all show up at the same time. They and have the a MS-13 or some kind of gang like that probably coordinated. Well, it, it was, you know, they had some sort of flash mob. They all run in. They ransack the place, take the merchandise, run out, and, and start driving away. You know, you only live a couple blocks from that. Why didn't you go down there with your I did weapon and protect the place? <laughs> no, well, yeah, I, I well, wanted I wanted some Louis Vuitton. That's right. I, I, I want a plastic purse that has somebody else's initials on it and costs three thousand dollars. That's what I want. Oh, okay. But Good. they didn't have it in pink. Yeah, that's your color. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, we got about uh, about uh, seven minutes left. Uh, what are you all doing for Thanksgiving? Football. Eating. Sorry. Football. Yeah. Hope Cowboys lose again. Uh, okay. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> uh, Tiffany's Tiffany's got to work uh, Thursday, Friday, so she can have Christmas off. So I uh, got the kids. Wait a minute. She has to work. What does she do? <clears throat> she works at the same company. Your company? Yeah, she does all. They do all the QA releasing of all the of all the product going out. So, so you uh, dipped you dipped your pen in the company ink? Huh? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> no, I knew her before. <laughs> yeah, but you got her a job with your influence, right? Yeah, not at all. Don't say that. She gets mad at people that say that. No, right. I do not at all. I stay out of that stuff. I don't have any of my friends working there. Well, what, what, but why does the company need to work her on Thanksgiving? Because we're saving the world. We because our, our our demand is just so high we can't keep up. So we work. We're working every day. We're working Christmas. Everything. Well, you're also we, you're yeah. you're also in a lot of different countries, and the United States is the only country that has Thanksgiving Day. Yeah. Uh, Canada has Thanksgiving. No, yes, but they but, but, but two months last earlier. month though. Yeah, yeah. They, they stole it from us. Yeah, our, our demand is too high right now. So we, I've been there. Well, I happen to think that the Thanksgiving is the nicest holiday of them all. Do you I know? like Halloween. Huh? I like yeah. Halloween. Really? It gives Phil a chance to take his mask off one day a year. Well, no, but what I'm saying is, is that it, I always liked uh, Thanksgiving. Because it it, uh, it it's a non-religious holiday, you know, uh, and it is, uh, you know, it's it's just a, a very nice holiday. People getting together and even people. I find now what I always used to do is I would always invite people over for Thanksgiving who had nowhere to go. A lot of times there were comedians who were working in town, and you know their families were all the way over halfway across the country. And so I would hold Thanksgiving for them. And I just think it's a nice, it's a really nice holiday. It's the only one that I really look forward to. Uh, uh, Christmas, forget it. My father used to have a saying every year that Christmas is at our throats again. <clears throat> you know, And it's true. I mean, uh, Christmas is just uh, all kinds of uh, 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 people commit suicide at Christmas for crying out loud. What's that? You know, it's like you said, a uh, happy Jew year. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. In your interview? Your interview? Yeah. But I mean, it, 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 I just always find uh, Thanksgiving very nice. Because what do you do? Are you just giving, you know, you just uh, thanks for all the wonderful how, things, you know? How, how come uh, there's no national holiday for Jewish holidays? <laughs> you know? You got, you got Martin Luther King Day. And everybody oh, takes listen, in New York, uh, uh, I, I hate to say it, but uh, Rosh Hashanah is a, you know, pretty well, much that's, a... That's there, uh, so many of them are observing. Uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty much a holiday here. But it's right. not a national holiday. There's no stamp that says, uh, you know... No, uh, the Christmas is a holiday. You know, Thanksgiving is a holiday. Uh, but uh, but uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, the, the African one, the, the uh, Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa is in a national holiday. Uh, what else is in the national holiday? 
Uh, veterans, no, Veterans Day is a national holiday. Veterans Day is a national holiday. Yeah, yeah. My, uh, somebody at my store said, well, I'm going to take off for Veterans Day. I said, you, it's, you can't. And they said, why? I said, there's no Hallmark card for Happy Veterans Day. <laughs> right, exactly. Yes, uh, yes, Alan. Is Jack doing a show tonight, do you know? Yes. yes. Why wouldn't he be? Well, because last week he said that he wasn't going to do a couple shows. No, that was last week when he had a, 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 a no, wound no, up no, in the no. hospital. Talking, this is Friday night he was talking. The colonoscopy is coming Last night on. he said he's doing a show tonight. Yeah, we're, okay. he's not doing a show. Night. He's not doing a show Thursday or Friday. Okay, well then. Just I'll like I'm fine. not doing a show Thursday or Friday. I can't even call Jack. I forgot my Skype password. <laughs> it's yeah, Gabnet Live. It, reinstall it. Oh, no, your no, that's password. Your, that's your Skype password. I can't sign into Skype because I can't remember the password. Well, I'll just download it again. You know, well, only nineteen dollars and sixty-three cents <laughs> for the for, to be able to make phone calls. I can't get that back either unless I sign in. And um, you can't remember how, what the, the name to use, so you can't use up the money that's left in your right. account. And then exactly. you get these pieces of. Oh, you know what'll happen? You well, you don't have the password. <laughs> But you will get a piece of mail from them saying, you haven't used your money in a long time. It's going to become inactive. It became inactive. Oh, okay. But what you do is, isn't there a way you can go on there and find out what your password was? I don't know. I'll try. Oh, I'll tell you the best. Well, hmm. Type MattGates.com and that'll be your <laughs> password. It's something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, there might be something. Anybody have any, any, any thanks they're giving on Thanksgiving? What are you thankful for, Phil? Well, uh, I, I I know the Second good. Amendment. Yeah, Second Amendment. I feel good. You know, <clears throat> I'm going to the gym tomorrow. I know, I know. We heard about that. Yeah. And one day you'll stop going to the gym, and then no, no, uh, yeah, you, this, will. The you will. You will. The, the guy who's the coach uh, is 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 so. How many people humble. here think that Phil will eventually stop going to the gym? <laughs> Coach, he says to he says, I'm to, over. he says to you, if you don't show up, you're out. He says, uh, if you don't give a hundred percent, you're out. Yeah, well, he says, okay, I, 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 uh, we're getting into a whole different territory there. I just asked you Let's what you were thankful for. How about you, Kevin? What are you thankful for? Anything particular, Kevin? What's uh, up? Is there anything you're thankful for? Yeah, I woke up this morning. Okay, Alan. <laughs> I, I'm thankful that uh, I so far survived COVID. Okay, that's a good one. How about you, uh, Brian? Uh, thankful. Yeah, just have a good job. You yeah. have a beautiful family. Thanks. And a beautiful Thanks. family. Thanks. Just Thanks. absolutely beautiful. How about you, Charlie? I'm thankful for my health. Yeah. How about you, Josh? This cabinet. Oh, oh well, oh. man, you have low expectations, don't you? <laughs> how about you? Uh, how about you, Jeff? I do like Gabnet. I think that's a good thing for all of us. You're mm -hmm. muted. And how about how about Chip? Oh, no, I'm kidding. I'm not. kidding. Chip, what are Come you on, thankful you? for? But oh, I, I friends, really I like. Wait, 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 hold on a second. What, Jeff? I uh, fa really family like and friends, I guess. Yeah. Oh, sorry. To cook for everybody. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and Chip, really you said friends and family. Yeah. You know, I'm th I'm thankful for, and I don't normally think about this. I'm th I'm about to become 82. I'm thankful for that. You know. Yeah. Are you a Capricorn? Oh, huh? Are you a Capricorn? N no, I'm not. Okay. I'm a Sagittarius. I'm a Sagittarian. Uh, I'm a I, I used to be a vegetarian, but, uh, you know, I swore off. Uh, thanks, Phil. Have a nice, happy Thanksgiving. Same to you, uh, uh, Kevin. Uh, thank you, Alan. Uh, and also, I, you know, I give thanks to these people here because they've been with me for a long time and loyal and you really care about this show and I appreciate it. Brian, thank you. Thank you to Charlie. Thank you to Jeff. Thank you to uh, um, Josh. And thanks to Chip. Good having you here, Chip. Uh, everybody, give a big wave goodbye and I'll give a big wave goodbye back. And when I come, when you see me on screen here, uh, I'll, I'll have absolutely be out of sync completely. Anyway, let me just stop the, uh, the, uh, uh, there we go.
Okay, now I should start getting back into sync. Anyway, all I want to say to all of you is have a very nice Thanksgiving. We'll be off tomorrow night. We'll be off on Friday night. Same thing with Jack. And then we'll see you all back here on Monday for the pop-up show on uh, Facebook. And then uh, on the following Wednesday at 1030 for the Ramble. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, if you don't, haven't done it yet, get the vaccination. And if you aren't vaccinated, wear a mask. Be a good citizen. Anyway, everybody have a happy Thanksgiving. I'm going to have some turkey. Bye.